You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Gene. Johnson. After Buzz TV. From the AfterBuzz studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is AfterBuzz TV's rising star, After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's rising star, After Show. Hello, everybody. You are watching and listening to AfterBuzz TV's rising star, After Show. I'm Jason Eichler. I'm Heather Joy Smith. And I'm Morgan Martin. And tonight was the premiere debut episode, Initial Thoughts. I actually loved it. I thought it was really good. Yeah, it was fun. I actually had fun doing like the whole interactive, like check your phone, talk about it. So it was pretty cool. <laughs> and the app worked for the most part. Mine crapped out for the first two. It, it voted no, but I would have voted no anyway. So we're all, we're all good, ABC. <laughs> what did you think of the judging panel? I like Ludacris a lot. Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't think he would be that difficult. Yeah, he actually put some thought into it and. It's interesting when these shows start because there's always going to be like the Simon Cowell of the panel, and I think it's definitely think that's ludicrous. Him. That's so him. But he like was standing up and voting no. I'm like, I don't think that's fair. He was yeah. so into it and watching his facial expressions. Like you already knew what he was going to do just based off of like his facial expression, what he was going to do. He was into it, and I loved it. Yeah, and I, I actually really liked Kesha and Brad too. Um, no, no, mm -hmm. I wasn't impressed with Brad at all. I think he'll be nice. I think he's hasn't been given opportunity to express himself. He didn't say anything at all. But he, I think the setup is dumb. Like How so? I don't think they should really be judged after they get eliminated. Like I feel like or after they already made it. Gotcha. It's kind of pointless. True. Yeah. It's almost like at the beginning of the voice when they do the everybody turns around, they're always going to be nice because what's the point? They already either made it onto the next round or are going home. Hmm. Yeah. I like Josh that. Groban. <laughs> I love Josh Groban as a singer, and I like that they're trying to bring somebody in who can sing and knows music. That being said, it made me really miss Ryan Seacrest and Carson Daly. Yeah. yeah. I think what I love, I think he's great as a mentor. Like, those were the moments yeah. that I loved yes. him the most. The hosting, I was just like, I just wanted a little more, so it's almost like I kind of wish there was a different host. And, and maybe we're maybe. judging a little harder since we're all hosts. Yeah. Maybe. But I feel like he was lacking. I think his personality is a little too dry Yeah. to be on like a mainstream TV show. I think they show. needed to split him up and do a host and a mentor. Yeah, I agree. He's like the Randy Jackson. <laughs> yeah, that would be like That'd Randy be Jackson hosting on Idol. This Idol. Season. Yeah. <laughs> maybe they can switch that up. Bring somebody else in. <laughs> Hello. Or... <laughs> um, or Heather. Or Maria. She could go too, but I'd rather do it. Um, <laughs> let's talk about the performances then. So the first up was Joshua PV, and he was the pastor who works with all the younger teens. And I thought it was very strategic of ABC to start with a pastor, because they know if they can get middle America Christians in on the show, it's a hit. So that was a good choice. Um, I thought he had a good voice, but I don't think he's a star. No, I voted no, unfortunately for him, but he got through, so I guess some people liked him. Just wasn't my thing. Yeah. I did actually vote yes for him. I think something, I saw, thought just he had heart, and I don't yeah. know, I just, I could really feel that, and so I think that he needs some, like, training, some little, like, edge a little to him, but... Yeah, because it was very almost corny, didn't you think? Yeah. Like, I, I felt like I was at church. But maybe I'm corny, so that's why <laughs> you like I that? loved it. Yeah. I think I was thinking, like, I can't see this guy, like, selling out arenas, or... And that's yeah. what... I mean, the goal is to find a star. True. But he could be a Christian singer. So he maybe, could be. He, that he, could there's work. a little niche for him somewhere. So we don't actually know what happens yet after they make it to the next round, or how many... I'm assuming like the first couple weeks are when they raise the wall and then it, it's just like a normal competition after that. Yeah. I would assume so. There hasn't really been a whole lot of direction on where the show is going week by week right. and after. Maybe they don't know yet. <laughs> Maybe they don't know yet. Maybe this is all up in the air still and they're trying to figure it out as they go. Maybe we'll get to vote on it. We'll oh. swipe. Oh. Yes. What should be the next round? I'm yeah, because they I could like go because like 
on Idol, they did Hollywood Week. On X Factor, they go to the judges' homes. On The Voice, they do the battle round. So they've got a lot to choose mm -hmm. from. Yeah. It'd be kind of fun to see where Kesha lives, though, if they did the judges' <laughs> homes. Don't you think? I would be interested to see what her house looks like. I'm actually really happy she's on here. Because I, I, like, I feel like she's the only one that's, like, still relevant. But I wouldn't have, like, picked her out out of, like, every celebrity or musician. Like, to do hey, it. let's do Kesha. But I'm glad she's doing it, and I'm glad to see that she's doing well after her rehab stint. Yeah, well, and I think, too, because... It's about more than just the singing. She is a star, and yeah. she writes off her own music, and she's written for, like they said, Britney and Miley. So I know that. She actually has. She was part of Dr. Luke, which actually, oh. that'll be interesting to see if she addresses that on the show. But she was part of Dr. Luke and Max Martin's writing team and then got picked up That's right. that mm. way. But it'll be interesting to see, because usually when these judges come on the shows, they all put out new music, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And she's in that big battle with Dr. Luke. So I hope hmm. she talks about it. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Potentially. To be determined. Yes. But good job, Kesha. Um, next up was Lisa Punch. And she sang How Will I Know. She was the girl from Guyana that lived in Brooklyn. an apartment with like her whole family. Kind of a cool story. How did you think she did? I loved it. You loved it? Yes. What would you love about it? I liked her voice. I thought it was great. And I liked the fact that she didn't do the song exactly how Whitney Houston did it because yeah. that can be really tricky to kind of mimic Whitney. Not yeah. Yeah. too many people can do it. So I liked her version of it. Yeah, she totally definitely made it her own. And she just owned the stage. She had personality. She danced a little bit but didn't do, like, too much. And so I really liked it. Yeah, a lot. I thought she was cute and good. I think you shouldn't take on Whitney this early because, it to me, it just seems a little presumptuous. And it almost reminded me of, like, corny Disney Channel version of Whitney. <laughs> Not like, I wasn't, like, moved by you, but it could have been, like, the tacky nail color or the... I don't know. Jason I thought she was a little, yeah, not a big fan, you but can't I like the story. Nail polish no, color. the nail yeah, polish. Yeah, but it's is not Rising part of it. Star. That's part of the whole package. <laughs> They'll get to that eventually. It's not Make the voice. We can judge on everything, She'll right? She'll have a stylist. They'll go to work I know. it out. Can't wait. Um, I think maybe next time she should do something a little younger, though. Yeah. I agree. It, it's yeah. just a little too, I don't know. Yeah, more current. Yeah, because it was it's a little karaoke. Okay. But we'll see what happens with her. I like her. She, I think, after like seeing everybody, though, now, I would say she was one of the best voices mm -hmm. of the night. Yes. Completely. Yep. Okay, so next up was Manipat Malloy. And, he, oh, she, this was the little girl that sang um, Conte Partiro. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think if you're going to do a classical song on this show, then you have to be classically trained. And she's not, and I think it showed, and I think it, it sounded like, I love Taylor Swift before I say this, but it sounded like if Taylor Swift was going to do that sort of song, and you should sing with the type of voice, and that girl has a very, like, quiet voice, timid, and it, it just made her sound weak. Yeah. yeah. I actually didn't even vote because I wasn't really sure how I even felt about it because I liked her. Yeah. I wasn't crazy about the song choice, but I feel like there was potential there. But I just didn't vote because I didn't, really didn't know. Yeah, I got stuck. I kept waiting. I'm like, she's going to do something great. Just wait for it. Yeah, and then it And didn't. this next thing I know, my time was up. And, and I then I done. felt like toward the end, she got really pitchy, and it was under pitch the whole time. And then, actually, somebody was saying on Twitter that they think they should wait and show the story of the person until after they sing. Yes. yes. Which I think is kind of interesting because then you would vote just on talent alone. Yeah. And it would. All, I guess that would be kind of copying off the voice. Um <laughs> Because the judges don't see their backstory beforehand. But I, I bet our voting would have changed had we not. Because she has a really cute and inspiring backstory. And that's the kind of person you want on these shows. 100%. But. I On like half of these, I would have probably not voted the way I did had I not seen that. It's because I like their personalities. Yeah. And then when they sang, I didn't really like it that much, but I still voted yes only because I like them. Because you want to root for them. Like, mm -hmm. you feel for the people, and you're like, they're going to be good, and then they open their mouth. And then it's also, <laughs> I always feel bad for, I they do this on every show, but I feel bad for the contestants when they interview them right before they're about to go on. Because yeah. <laughs> they're trying to get in the zone, and Josh is like, are you nervous? What are you feeling like, right what now? what do you think? <laughs> like, Just let me sing, please. <laughs> um, so next up was Daniel and Olivia. So they were the couple that, she's the... I've heard of them before. I feel like I have too. They're YouTube stars. So he, she was doing like voice lessons yeah. and he emailed her and they got together. Um, and they sang Counting Stars by One Republic. 
I thought they had too much energy. Like, I wanted to give her a Xanax and just be like, calm down a little bit. Because she was jumping all over. It reminded me of, like, the those uh, music videos she watched with, like, the bouncing ball. And you follow the yeah. words and you go back and <laughs> oh forth. Like a gosh. lyric video. That's exactly <laughs> And I just was, like, bouncing up and down throughout the whole performance. It was just a lot. There I feel stories like, cute, Yeah, I feel like they could maybe be, because, like, Alex and Sierra that just won X Factor, like, the couple. I feel like they could be trained to be into that. Um, because I think the talents there, Heather's shaking her head no. You don't think so? No, it was awful. Ouch. Heather's a little mean. <laughs> I thought, but I mean, their harmonies were sloppy, but they weren't horrible. They're adorkable. Adorkable, They're adorkable. yeah. They're adorkable. Uh, Josh Groban. Mm. I didn't like that joke either. Um, <laughs> they were the first people to get voted off. And so, if you don't reach, it was 70%, right? Yeah. So, if you don't reach yeah. 70%, then you go. Which I thought, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how like easy we should be on voting in the beginning, because I wish we knew how many people we got to vote through. Yeah, yeah. Because is there a limit? It seemed like we could vote any of them through. Yeah, yeah. There's not like a you can only pick twenty four. No. no, you could like everybody. Yeah, love them all. <laughs> there you go. Um, Jesse Kinch. I thought this was kind of a funny story. This is the guy that was like very, very timid and quiet. And then he started singing, and he had this, like, raspy, like, rocker, old rock and roll voice. Um, he's saying, I put a spell on you. I thought he was good. I just feel like when he's singing, he's kind of, like, ripping apart his vocal cords because he's singing so incorrectly. I think that's why when he talks, he has that little raspy voice. But I really liked him. He has his, like, partridge family, like, <laughs> I does. love Mother Earth thing about him in the universe, and I don't even know, but I really liked him. And when he opened his mouth to sing, like, the first, everybody's eyes were like, what the heck just happened? Yeah, you're like, where did that come from? <laughs> Definitely not what I was expecting at all from him. Mm -mm. Did you feel like his vibrato was a little out of control, though? Because it was like, uh, 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 the whole time he was singing? Yeah. I'm going to be like, just pull that back a little bit. He was going for but it. But I, I hope they give him, like, one of the makeovers and he gets a little edgier look. People on Twitter were going crazy for him. Yeah. yeah. Like, absolutely love this guy. Kesha loved him, too. Yeah. They might hook up after the show. <laughs> Potentially. <laughs> Potentially. Potentially. <laughs> they should. Um, let's talk about Beyond 5 who is the boy band, <laughs> and I was very excited for them because I love me a boy band. Yes. But before they go into this, they're automatically going to compete with One Direction and Five Seconds of Summer and The Wanted and anybody in that spectrum. So as soon as they started and they started dancing, I was like, oh, God, I this is going to be a train them. wreck. You can't, nobody dances <laughs> anymore. They did. It's so corny. I still loved him. <laughs> you you I did. did. And I, I was really pulling They say, wake me up by Avicii. Really pulling. I was. And I, <laughs> yes, nobody dances, but like, I want the dan the boy band dancing, all of that to just come back. So I'm like, they could be the one, but it was just a little Nate. It just, something was missing. I think missing. they have to have like a gay boy band to do that. Like, they'll have to be <laughs> out. Because you can't have like straight sex symbol guys all like, that's like show choir. I feel You know like, what I mean? Yeah. I feel like had they not been so nasally and had a little bit more direction and kind of yeah. pulled everything together, they could have been That's fantastic. why I think I didn't vote yes on them, but if I was a judge, I would have voted yes because I do feel like with mentoring, they mm -hmm. could be good. Yeah. yeah. Um, there was the one guy that was super nasally that I would vote out Yeah. Um, and just call him Beyond Four. <laughs> but other than that, I don't know. They like Compared to other people that made it through, they were just not good. Well, yeah. what, what Ludacris said, which I which I agree with, when they sang together and they harmonized, they were dope. Yeah. When the soloists would sing by themselves, something was like, it was a complete disconnect. Yes. So I think if they would have done more stuff, like, together... It would have been good. Yeah. But if you listen to, like, One Direction right now, every single one of those guys can sing really good. Mm -hmm. true. You're yeah. like, oh, that's Harry. Like, and they... With him, you're like, oh, I don't... I wish we knew their names, but you're like, please stop. Please stop. <laughs> you're like, go on to the next I know. Guy. Next, next. <laughs> um, they were cute, but yeah. they didn't make it. Mm. It's kind of sad, but not that sad. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm not that sad. Um, let's talk about Sarah Darling. Uh, she sang Merry Go Round by Casey Musgraves. Okay. I have something to say on this. Okay. Let the it out. The second that they said Sarah Darling, I knew the name instantly and knew that she has had an album out. Yeah. And she's obviously done things before, so I Googled her. And she, it's true. And she it's has? True. It's true. What has she done before? 
She's had a couple of records out. She was also on an e-reality show for music back in, like, 2003. Now, do you feel, because I actually like when they do this, when they bring back old singers and try to revamp them, because I think of, like, Katy Perry, who was signed and dropped, like, three times before she made it. And there's so many people, like, throwing in their two cents on what these people should do. So I am I honestly respect her more for, like, failing that many times and still going at it. So I actually like, and the voice does that a lot. Yeah. And Idol kind of hides it. So, and they, I mean, Rising Star didn't, they said she's making money mm-hmm. doing yeah. it. Um, so I actually like seeing that. But her Twitter is verified. And I didn't really like the fact that Brad and her had mutual friends already. But I think mm-hmm. the country world is very incestuous. Yeah. It is, but for that's small. not really fair. Do you th- I don't know, though. Because if she had, like, a big enough following, she wouldn't even have to do the show. True. Yeah, that's true. And I don't think you should hold against her that she has fans, right? Yeah. and I, I don't know. And I think for people <laughs> that if you really are legitimately doing this, it's kind of like a, not a downgrade, but if you come on, on a show to try to make it, if you're already yeah. making it, then you wouldn't even do that in the first place. So I think it kind of even gives hope a little bit to people that are like are trying to make it and they just didn't get their chance. They're like, well, let's see well, if I, feel, I can yeah. get a new outlet. And if you're trying to make it, I think you kind of do whatever you can. Mm-hmm. And so, obviously, what she's doing isn't working. <laughs> you gotta hustle. You do gotta hustle. So, she's saying Merry Go Round by Casey Musgraves, and I'm obsessed with Casey Musgraves. But I think when you do these shows, you need to do a song that has a moment and like builds. And Casey Musgraves is very like chill girl with a guitar, which is perfect. Yeah. But it's not a song that makes people want to like vote for you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I think that's kind of what Kesha was saying too. So just the wrong song choice. Wrong song choice. But I do think I did want to hear more of her. Yeah. I'm trying to th- think what I would like to hear her do though. Maybe mm-hmm. like a Carrie Underwood. Like. Yeah. Do you think One her those, voice like, is that powerful though? Because I, I think th- she could should make Casey Musgraves type of album. But I don't know if you can win a show like this doing that type of music. Yeah. I no. think she and I think she fell into the trap of because she actually the wall didn't go up until like the very last yeah. seconds. Because I think everybody was like, "Oh, she's good," but I'm waiting for like the wow factor. And so it's like if you don't start off with that in the beginning, you have yeah. us waiting and waiting. And if we wait too long, the answers end up going to be no if it runs out of time. Well, exactly. And if she is that type of artist, like when you hear Casey Musgraves do it, you're like, oh, you're a brilliant songwriter and you're playing guitar and you're, but she's just sitting there singing. So it's like, or even like Taylor Swift, like that's that sort of similar music. Yeah. But she writes it all herself. Hmm. Maybe, I think maybe if that's the case, she should do like a guy's song. Just yeah. to, like, kind of shock everyone. That would be interesting. i like to see that. Yeah, she's going to have to do something completely different than tonight. Because now we're like, okay, we get it. You can sing. You have yeah. a great voice. Now I need you to, like, wow me. Maybe, Otherwise, like, Rascal Flats pack. would be good for her. Oh, yeah, Ooh. that's just good. Just something like Poppy Country. I like that idea. Like Sarah that. Darling, you're welcome. Mm. <laughs> um, so she made it. What, what what was her percentage? Did you write 89. it down? 89. 89. That's yeah. pretty good. The yeah. highest was 93. 93. Mm-hmm. Okay. So next up was Colin Huntley, and he was like Ed Sheeran 2.0. I thought he was going to be perfect for the show. I did too. And I think, I don't think he's bad, but Ed Sheeran is a beast to take on, especially that song. Yes. He sang Sing, and it was just sloppy. It was. Yeah. That song is a hard song, and if he would have nailed it, it would have been perfect for this show, had he been able to nail that. But that's a really tough task to take on. Well, and Ed Sheeran, like, raps when he sings. Right. Oh, his and rap was... His falsetto is amazing. And this guy, he should have sang, like, a... I'm trying to think. Let's think of somebody that he should have sang. Like, something a little easier. Yeah. yeah. I think you have to know your... You have to know what you can and what you can't do. Don't show people what you can't do. Just do what you can do yeah, really well. Yeah, because there's a lot of songs... That, like, if he sang... Um, Oh, God, I can't remember the name. Who sings Hey There, Delilah? Like a song like oh, that. that would have been perfect yeah. for him. Like where he's not as vocally challenging. Mm-hmm. Then yes. you're still like, oh, this guy can play guitar and he's cute. Yeah. But Ed Sheeran just wails. And I think it's dangerous to do a song that's like this current on the radio right now because you yeah. automatically compare it to Ed Sheeran and he's nothing like Ed Sheeran. Yeah, that's actually what I would love to see in like the mentor sessions of like who giving them some more choices of suggestions of what songs they should actually do. Like, yeah, yeah. I know you like that song, but mm, I don't think that's going to work for you. Yeah, and I wonder, because we only saw, like, 10 seconds of the mentoring, yeah. but I wonder if they were allowed to give notes like that. Because I know a lot of it is, like, if you can get the rights to the song. Right, yeah, yeah that's true. But, I mean, they did 
pretty much every type of song, so it didn't seem like there was any issues with that. No. But and I loved his thanks for everybody for watching. Yeah. You know. Oh, you did? Promo. Mo- no, no, I didn't at I was all. annoyed. I was, I was like, super oh, just, annoyed. I just wanted him to wave and yeah. say goodbye. Thank Bye. you. Goodbye. We don't care about you enough to. I just felt really bad for him. He was sweet. He was. His mom, like somebody him. was tweeting, his mom was clapping off the beat. <laughs> <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> It's, it was kind of awkward. So in the middle of this, and we have one more before we talk about the last one, they pick this girl, Macy Kate, to be to try out randomly. How random do you think that was? Not at Not all. Random at Not all. random at all? No. No. I he think has maybe thousands and thousands oh, of Instagram yeah. followers. I think maybe there was like probably 10 Instagram kids there or something, and they said, we're going to pick one of you. But I feel like they had to have practice and stuff to just make her go on and sing the song. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's yeah. no way she went on there with no practice. Mom's face gave it away. Mom yeah. was sitting there like, I know what's going on, but I don't. I wasn't buying it. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. No. Nope. So before we talk about her, um, Summer Collins was next, and she sang Classic by MK, MKTO. And she had the great story. She was like a military kid, and then her mom passed away when she was younger. And she... I don't know, like, that's the type of person that you want to be a songwriter because they have stuff to write about. And um, nobody liked her. I loved her. Me too. I voted yeah, that was the only one I voted yes on the whole night. <laughs> what? Yeah. That was the only one? Yeah. Oh, my I'm gosh. Kind of a, I'm t- kind of a tough judge. She reminded me of Mandy Moore's, like, more recent stuff, like, where it's, like, folky pop. And I think, yeah, there was pitchy moments, but she has, like, a perfect personality and I think she just needs a little mentoring, and I thought she could have been like going on really far. Yeah, yeah. she's di- she's unique. There was something unique about her and different. Like she was completely more like out of the pocket from everybody else, and her her energy, just her. She was she was singing for food, for snacks. Yes, I, love I know. For, who sings for snacks these I would. days? <laughs> I would I would definitely sing for snacks. <laughs> and I, I thought it. I did, but I loved her personality too. That she just like. It showed through, and it's hard to show through on live TV. I wonder, though, if you've ever been to, like, a taping of one of these shows, it sounds so different when you're there. It does. I wonder if it didn't sound as good when you were there, because did any of the judges vote yes? Uh, yes, Kesha did. Kesha did. Kesha's like the Paula Abdul. True. Yes. Which I think you need somebody to be a, a little nicer. Yeah. I loved her, though. I was really sad. I know, and she she handled it well, though. She did. She did. She's like, I'm going to write a song about this. I love that. That is amazing. Now, do you like when Ludacris, like, tries to get other people to vote no? I'm like, no, sit no. down. Doing a lot. I do think the producers tell them to do that, though. It brings some excitement to yeah, it. Yeah, because they do that on The Voice. Yeah. They're like, pitch your button. Yeah. Well, because, like, once you vote, it's like, all right, you're trying to encourage other people and all this thing. And him running back and forth across the stage, you know, it's entertaining. But I yeah. don't think he should be the one actually swiping for them. Yeah, I feel like that should not count. That's not okay. Mm-mm. It's very interesting, yeah. So I was bummed to see her go back. I wonder if they'll do anything on a lot of these shows that do like a wild card. Oh, I'd love to see her. So maybe we could bring her back. I want to bring her back. Because she's the only one. There was nobody tonight that I was like, oh, I would buy your album. Or like, oh, I could see you winning the whole competition. So I have a question about bringing her back. Now, with the West Coast watching right now and being able to vote, can they potentially... (laughs) vote her back onto the show? Yes. I forgot about that. We watched the East Coast feed. Yeah. So they Yeah, so how does that work? If they can the West Coast vote somebody back off? <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool? That would be kind of cool. That like would be you awesome. think you made it and then they like take the average like sorry suckers. <laughs> or they can just like This could be really interesting next week. Yeah, so I guess we don't know any of the people that didn't make it. So beyond 5. Yeah. Who else didn't make it? Um Colin Huntley. And Daniel and Summer Olivia. Summer Collins and Daniel and Olivia. Mm-hmm. So, out of all of them, who do you think would be brought back? Summer. Summer. Me too. Yeah. So, okay, so this is what I'm curious to see with the West Coast feed. Now, clearly, we've seen the wall come up with some of these. The wall's still going to come up, right? When the West Coast watches this, but just maybe like the. I Maybe the graphics. graphic is going to yeah. be different. Yeah, because how will they know? Whether their votes counted or not. I don't know. So say like... We should try to watch question. a West Coast feed just to see. Yeah. yeah. So I feel like some of these who... Well, I think the lowest one looks like it was probably 89. Like if the West Coast, say everyone voted no, 
obviously. Yeah, I don't think they, I don't think they'll take people. Down. They put it back down. <laughs> like, but I wonder, no. <laughs> I wonder if they'll they'll have like the contestants that didn't make it still in the studio or something, and then like if they make it, show that. Maybe that's true. Because this has never been, which is kind of really a cool concept, but yeah. it's never been done before where like both coasts get a say either. No. This if you guys watch, if anybody's watching and they watch the West Coast feed, let us know what happens on YouTube yeah. or on Twitter and Instagram. Because it's very interesting to know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and before we talk about the last girl, we want to remind everybody to get Maria Menounos' new book, Every Girl's Guide to Diet and Fitness, online wherever books are sold. And it's on the New York Times bestsellers list for the second week in a Woo-hoo! row. So congrats. Yay! It's a really good book if you need a summer body. It's Woo-hoo! got recipes, yes. celebrity interviews, lots of good stuff. And after you buy that, go on to iTunes and rate and subscribe. This is our first podcast, so we want five stars. Comment on YouTube. You can follow all of us on Twitter, and we'll all chat back with you. Absolutely. Yay. So we got the girl from Instagram. Mm Mm-hmm. Macy Kate. Macy Kate. Macy Kate, your weave needs some work. Oh, ouch. Ouch. You went there. (laughs) I'm sorry, it did. Did you see that? It was like... It looked like Barbie hair. That was hair. the only thing that you talked about during the entire Because that's all I could see was the weave. <laughs> right? Mm. And then I felt like during the mentoring session when the guy was trying to talk to her, I felt like she was just talking too much. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. you need to shut up and practice. I kind of felt like there was too much hype throughout the entire show about her. About her, her. Like, yeah, I agree. Oh, she's coming back. We're going to have her sing, blah, yeah. blah. It's like... None of these other contestants got any, like, yeah. hype to them. Hype for that, yeah. yeah. And I think the Instagram person is the one contestant where I really, truly think it should be somebody that hasn't made a music video or recorded songs, but really, like, a real live person sitting somebody in front like of their... like, 300 followers. Yeah, uh, like... Did you guys like how they called her out, though, about her music video submission? She clearly did not do it in her bedroom. Oh, my God. Didn't that remind you of, like, Rebecca Black's video, yes. though? <laughs> like, her parents paid for her to go in a studio and do that. Yeah. What did you think? So she was saying Me and My Broken Heart by Rixton. No. No? No. It, it was okay. I mean, I wasn't, like, blown away. But, I mean, honestly, compared to some of the other singers that did go through, I mean, I think she's in comparison with some of them that actually went through. So I didn't hate her. I didn't love her. I, just kinda like, I know, hey. I didn't vote either way because I got locked out of the app for this one. <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought, I think she definitely has talent and it's there, but when she goes to hit the high notes, she was so under the whole time, like consistently under pitch. And then I think she's trying too hard to sound like Christina Aguilera or somebody like mm-hmm. with a big voice like that or like yeah. a Demi Lovato, and she doesn't have that type of voice. So I do feel like with some mentoring and then get a couple stylists in there, cut her hair, like, I feel like she can be molded into something because she's cute and talented, but I think she, like, is trying too hard to be somebody that she's not. Yeah. Yeah. I got to give her this, so I actually did like that song choice for her. Okay. I mean, yeah, yeah, I guess that is a way, because she did make it, she made it her own. She did make it her own, and I liked it. She does have really good stage presence. She does. She was super confident on the stage, and I mean... I w- I'm interested to look her up because you can. Me too. She's had to have she's performed before. Definitely had some experience and some coaching. Yeah, for sure. I wonder how they reach out for this show to get people, because I know we always we keep talking about Idol and the Voice, but that's fine. Um, I know for the Voice they cast people for it, mm-hmm. right? Just for the blind auditions. For Idol, it's like unknowns, and yeah. they go out. So I wonder. I think you could submit for the show, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But they, I think it was like an Instagram contest, like you right. had a hashtag Rising Star or something. But then I feel like, I bet they probably reached out to people as well. Because there's a lot of YouTube stars on here. That's yes. true. Oh, you're, oh, I get what you're saying. Like the yes. producers were like, hey, yeah. do you want to audition? Yes. Yeah, like Daniel. Is it Daniel? Daniel and Olivia. Yeah, Daniel and Olivia. And then Macy Kay. And then even the, um, who's the country girl? Sarah, Sarah Darling. Darling. Sarah Darling. Yeah, I'm sure they had some kind of connection. Yeah. To see. Mm-hmm. So that's everybody. Out of all of those ten, that was ten, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maybe nine. I don't know. Um, who is your favorite? That is moving on. Yeah, that's moving on. Lisa Punch. She was the girl who said yeah. me. I what like Jesse you? Kinch. Jesse Kinch, Partridge Family. All oh. Day. I. <laughs> you didn't like anybody. I didn't like anybody that much. I just feel like there's. I've seen. I cover all these shows, and I feel like I've seen 
so many better i don't know though it's just the first audition so i usually hopefully my mind will be changed but there's nobody tonight that made it through summer would have been mine yeah um nobody made it through that i was like blown away by like oh you gotta hear this but i guess it's a little early too yeah but I, i wouldn't say like any of these people could win that made it through tonight I wasn't blown away by anybody. I think Jesse Kinch surprised me the most. So I think that's why he sticks out to me. Yeah. But even that standalone, I wouldn't have been like, yes, he's a star. It might be different, too, when they're actually performing in front of the audience. Because you lose a little bit of energy when you're just in front of a wall. That's what I was thinking. It was so awkward. For, it must be so yeah, awkward Yeah, because there's them. like there's three no camera one. guys in their faces. And it's sure. just... Uh, and they just have like the little faces. I guess they could pretend they're singing to them. I know. Yeah. We that should be our goal this season is to get our face on that wall. Mm-hmm. Yes. Did so. anyone who's watching this actually get their face on the wall? I'd be yeah. Curious. That's Screen a good grab question. it. We want to see yes. it if you did, because that's pretty cool. Yeah. I get excited whenever Kesha's face popped up on the wall, though. <laughs> no, it just was bound me. to happen. Bound to happen. <laughs> okay, let's get into some predictions then. Your After Buzz TV predictions. No, I just said I didn't think anybody had the chance to make it. <laughs> but if you had to pick your favorite and your least favorite of the night, who are they? Mm, I'm going to go with, I'm still going to go with Lisa Punch is my favorite. Okay. And my least favorite that's moving on, uh, I'm going to have to probably go with Joshua Peavy or Macy Kate. Okay. Yeah. What about you? My favorite is still Jesse Kinch. I think my least favorite moving on. Yeah, I think I do have to go with Joshua Peavy. Okay. I did like him, though, but... I, it, I feel like I completely agree with both of you. Um, Lisa was probably my favorite, I guess. I don't know, though. I feel like Macy has potential to be good. Mm-hmm. But we'll see. Yeah. Um, and Josh was definitely my least favorite. He seems like a nice guy, but I feel like... Did you guys watch duets when it was on ABC? Yes. The guy that won. Oh, yeah. He reminds me of him. Mm. And, like, where has he been since duets? He reminds me of, like, Ruben Stutter. Like, Ruben Stutter was a great guy. Great singer, but he's not, singer. like, a pop star. Exactly. The, you have to have, like, a whole package. Yep. Yeah. And he doesn't have that. Yeah. Um, do either of you have any news and gossip? Um, I don't. No? Well, I'm excited to see what happens with Kesha and Dr. Luke, because that's like the yeah. only real drama yeah. surrounding this show. So I really hope she addresses that on the show, because hopefully she'll put out an album soon. Um, in the meantime, we'll be back in here next week, and we have a lot of cool guests lined up for you guys this season. So you're going to want to stay tuned for that. Until next week, you can find all of us on social media. Where can they find you guys? I'm on Instagram and on Twitter at Heather Joy Smith. I'm on Instagram and Twitter at MS underscore Morgan Martin. And I'm on Instagram and Twitter at Jason Eichler. We will see you guys all back in here next week. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here, and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.